We have already made a single episode about complete knowledge of vertical curves. However, for the viewer's convenience, we have split it into three parts. The links to that complete episode is given in the description. If anyone wishes to watch that, they can choose from the description. This episode is, final part. In this episode, we will see, the designing of a vertical curve with a sample of calculations. Here, we will see in detail about the calculations of, the curve length, and, the constant value of rate of change of grade, k, and, the tangent correction, h. And finally, calculation of final reduced levels of finished road surface. We will study all of this in less than 15 minutes time. So, please watch till the end. Welcome to Civil Guru. These videos made in different languages, like English, Hindi, Tamil, and also in Arabic now. Please choose your desired language from our playlist. If you like this video, please like and subscribe now. Here, we will see a sample of design calculations by using the tangent correction method. The known informations are, a parabolic vertical curve is to be set out, connecting two uniform grades of, plus 0.8% and, minus 1%. The chainage and the reduced level of, point of intersections are, 1660 meters and 238.00 meters. It is decided to fix the pegs, at uniform chord intervals of 20 meters chainage. And, the rate of change of grade is 0.005%. That means, the rate of change of grade for 20 meters chain is 0.005 into 20 meters. That is, 0.1% per chain. First, we will calculate the total length of the curve. Already we knew that, the length L equals, G1 minus G2 divided by R. Here, G1 equals plus 0.8%, and, G2 equals minus 1%. And, the rate of change of grade per chain equals, 0.1%. So the length of the curve equals, 1.80 divided by 0.1. That equals, 18 chains. That is known as N. This equals to, 18 chain into 20 meters of each chain, equals 360 meters. And, the length of the curve, at eighth side of apex equals to 9 chains. And, this is known as N, which is equals to 180 meters. Now, we will fix the tangent points. The chainage of intersection point is, 1660 meters. So, the chainage of first tangent point equals, 1660 meters, minus 180 meters, that is equals to 1480 meters. Similarly, the chainage of second tangent point equals, 1660 meters, plus 180 meters. That is equals to 1840 meters. Now, we will find, the RL values of each tangent point. For first tangent point, the value of G1 equals 0.8%. And, the length of the tangent point from the point of apex is 180 meters. So, the difference in elevation equals, equals 1.44 meters. So, the RL of tangent 1 equals, RL of intersection point, 238, minus, 1.44 meters. That is, 236.560. Similarly, for the second tangent point, the value of G2 equals 1%. And, the length of the tangent point from the point of apex is, 180 meters. So, the difference in elevation equals, 1% into 180 meters, that equals, 1.8 meters. So, the RL of tangent 2 equals, 238 minus, 1.8 meters. That is, 236.2 meters. Now, we will find the value of, point E. That is, the average of, point O, and point B. 
that means E equals 236.56 plus 236.2 divided by 2. That equals 236.38 meters. And now, we will calculate the value of F also. Since F is midway of point A and E, the RL of point F equals RL of A plus E divided by 2. That is 238 plus 236.38 divided by 2. That gives the value of 237.19 meters. Now, the apex value, that is, the difference between A and F is 238 minus 237.19. That is 0.81 meters. Also, this is known as the H value of 0.9 from the beginning of curve. Now, we will check whether these values are correct or wrong. And also, calculate the reduced level of intermediate pegs from our known derived formulas. For that, we have to find the value of constant k. To find the value of k, we have to find the value of E1 and E2. E1 is the elevation on the grade of the uniform chord of 20 meters intervals. That is, E1 equals G1 into 20 meters. That is, 0.8 divided by 100 into 20, which equals 0.16 meters. Similarly, for E2, minus 1 divided by 100 into 20, that equals minus 0.20 meters. Now, we will find the value of constant K. That is, K equals E1 minus E2 divided by 4N. Here, E1 equals 0.16, E2 equals 0.2, and N equals 9 numbers. That gives the value of 0.01. That is, K equals 0.01. Now, we will find the value of H at the apex point of AF. We already knew that H equals K into N square. That means AF equals 0.01 into 9 square. That is 0.01 into 81. That gives the value of 0.81 meters. That is the tangent correction at the point of apex. If we compare this value with our previous results, both are same. That means, our previous calculations, and the result arrived through these formulas are correct. Now, it is time to calculate the RL value of, other intermediate pegs. For that, first we have to calculate the elevation value on tangent line, for every intermediate points. That is intermediate pegs. And next, we have to find the value of tangent correction, h, for every peg. And, finally, we have to deduct this tangent correction from the elevation values, which gives the value of, final reduced level on the parabolic curve. Now, we will see in detail. The tangent elevation for the first peg is, rl value of point O, plus, the value of E1. That is, 236.56, plus 0.16 equals 236.72. The elevation for the second peg is RL value of point O plus two times of the value of E1. That is 236.56 plus 2 into 0.162 equals 236.88. And similarly, for the third peg is RL value of point O plus three times of the value of E1. That equals 237.04. Repeat the same procedure until we reach to the 18th peg. That is, the extended tangent of grade 1 until point C. Finally, the elevation value of 18th peg is RL value of point O plus 18 times of the value of E1. That equals 239.44. Now, we will start calculating the tangent correction. That is, h value of every peg. 
the formula to calculate the h value is k into n square. Here, the k value is 0.01. So, the tangent correction of first peg is 0.01 into 1 square. That gives the value of 0.01. Next, the tangent correction for second peg is 0.01 into 2 square. That gives the value of 0.04 meters. Similarly, for peg number 3 is 0.01 into 3 square. That gives the value of 0.09 meters. That is the tangent correction for peg number 3. Repeat the same procedure until we reach to the 18th peg. Now, h value for peg number 18 is 0.01 into 18 square. That gives the value of 3.24 meters. This value is the tangent correction of 18th peg. Finally, we will start calculating the RL values on the parabolic curve. That is, value of elevation minus the tangent correction. First, we will find the RL value for first peg. That is, the elevation of peg number 1, 236.72, minus, the tangent correction of first peg, 0.01. That gives the value of 236.71 meters. Next, we will find the RL value of second peg. That is, the elevation of peg 2, 236.88, minus, the tangent correction 0.04. That gives the value of 236.84 meters. And now, we will find the RL value of third peg. That is, 237.04, minus 0.09. That gives the value of 236.95 meters. Repeat the same procedure until we reach to peg 18. At last, we will find the RL value of 18th peg. That is point B. We will cross-check this value with our previous results. That is, the elevation of peg 18, 239.44, minus the h of the 18th peg, 3.24. That gives the value of 236.20 meters. This value is equivalent to our previous result. That means, all our calculations are perfect. This is the procedure of designing a vertical curve. Hope you people are enjoying it. If you like these videos, please subscribe now and share with your friends. And also don't forget to press the bell button. Thank you.